Now to a landmark case that could change the way the big banks handle home loans. The ANZ has been charged with price fixing by the competition watchdog, the ACCC. And if a federal court judge finds they have a case, it could cost the bank tens of millions of dollars in fines. Karen Cooper reports. This is exciting news for consumers. Wayne Ormond, too, has every reason to be excited. A major bank being hauled before a court for price fixing is unprecedented in this country. And Wayne's four-year David and Goliath fight has helped get it there. I guess it's uh, the ACCC drawing a line in the sand, uh, saying that uh, if you try and uh, set with brokers uh, what uh, they can uh, give back to customers, then they will take some action. The ACCC claims the ANZ has breached the Trade Practices Act by black banning discount broking firm mortgage refunds unless it capped its rebate to customers. Wayne Ormond's company Refund Home Loans acquired mortgage refunds this year and also has the same complaint lodged with the consumer watchdog. Now we choose to share some of that commission back with our customers and what ANZ was saying is you can't do that. If you give commission back to customers, we will kick you off our panel and we will not allow you to distribute our loans. The value of home lending commitments in Australia last year was $230 billion. When Wayne launched his cashback home loan business, Refund Home Loans, he was trying to carve out a niche in the heavy populated mortgage broking market. His deal, similar to mortgage refunds, was to give half of the commission the banks paid him back to his customers. I was very surprised, yeah, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick at first, but at the end of the day, yeah, I've got the money and I couldn't be happier, it was well worth the effort. We got a refund of $1,750. I know everyone's a bit happy if they can get a bit of money back and a bit of cash back in their pocket, but at the end of the day, yeah, it all helps, so um, no, I think it's, it's just good competition, good business. Clients were happy, but not so the big banks. Three refused to deal with him any further, effectively trying to rub him out. The banks don't want consumers getting a better deal. You see the massive profits the banks are making, they don't want consumers getting a better deal. And to say that banks aren't in, uh, in competition with mortgage brokers just isn't, isn't fair. While Westpac and St George backed down, not so the ANZ, which went further, demanding the discount be capped at $500. It's very similar to saying, well, I pay you to do something, or to do a job, but then I tell you what you can do with your money. It's like your boss telling you where you can spend your pay. The ANZ says it'll defend the charges, denying any price-fixing behaviour. It claims the accusations are ill-conceived and misplaced in law. The ACCC, of course, can't comment now that it's before a court, other than to say it's a case all the other major banks will be watching with interest. Ultimately, it's our money, it's our commission. If we decide to give it to a charity or if we decided to give it back to the customer, it's our choice and we should be allowed to do that and so should any other broker. Karen Cooper, our reporter. When we come back, is